Acetic acid, systematically named ethanoic acid, is a colorless liquid organic compound with the chemical formula CH3COOH, also written as CH3CO2H or C2H4O2. When undiluted, it is sometimes called glacial acetic acid. Vinegar is no less than 4% acetic acid by volume, making acetic acid the main component of vinegar apart from water. Acetic acid has a distinctive sour taste and pungent smell. In addition to household vinegar, it is mainly produced as a precursor to polyvinyl acetate and cellulose acetate. It is classified as a weak acid since it only partially dissociates in solution, but concentrated acetic acid is corrosive and can attack the skin. Acetic acid is the second simplest carboxylic acid, after formic acid. It consists of a methyl group attached to a carboxyl group. It is an important chemical reagent and industrial chemical, used primarily in the production of cellulose acetate for photographic film, polyvinyl acetate for wood glue, and synthetic fibers and fabrics. In households, diluted acetic acid is often used in descaling agents. In the food industry, acetic acid is controlled by the food additive code E260 as an acidity regulator and as a condiment. In biochemistry, the acetyl group, derived from acetic acid, is fundamental to all forms of life. When bound to coenzyme A, it is central to the metabolism of carbohydrates and fats. The global demand for acetic acid is about 6.5 million metric tons per year MT, uh, of which approximately 1.5 mt, A is met by recycling, the remainder is manufactured from methanol. Vinegar is mostly dilute acetic acid, often produced by fermentation and subsequent oxidation of ethanol. Nomenclature The trivial name acetic acid is the most commonly used and preferred IUPAC name. The systematic name ethanoic acid, a valid IUPAC name, is constructed according to the substitutive nomenclature. The name acetic acid derives from acetum, the Latin word for vinegar, and is related to the word acid itself. Glacial acetic acid is a name for water-free anhydrous acetic acid. Similar to the German name Eisig, ice vinegar, the name comes from the ice-like crystals that form slightly below room temperature at 16.6 degrees Celsius, 61.9 degrees Fahrenheit. The presence of 0.1% water lowers its melting point by 0.2 degrees Celsius. A common abbreviation for acetic acid is ACOH, where AC stands for the acetyl group CH3-C equals O- Acetate CH3COO- is abbreviated ACO-. The AC is not to be confused with the abbreviation for the chemical element actinium. To better reflect its structure, acetic acid is often written as CH3COO, CH3-C equals OO, CH3COOH, and CH3CO2H. In the context of acid-base reactions, the abbreviation HAC is sometimes used, where AC in this case is a symbol for acetate, rather than acetyl. Acetate is the ion resulting from loss of H plus from acetic acid. The name acetate can also refer to a salt containing this anion, or an ester of acetic acid. Properties Acidity The hydrogen center in the carboxyl group minus COOH in carboxylic acids such as acetic acid can separate from the molecule by ionization. CH3CO2H CH3CO2 minus plus H plus because of this release of the proton H plus, acetic acid has acidic character. Acetic acid is a weak monoprotic acid. In aqueous solution, it has a pKa value of 4.76. Its conjugate base is acetate, CH3COO-. A 1.0 M solution about the concentration of domestic vinegar has a pH of 2.4, indicating that nearly 0.4% of the acetic acid molecules are dissociated. However, in very dilute, 90% dissociated. Structure in solid acetic acid, the molecules form chains, individual molecules being interconnected by hydrogen bonds. In the vapor at 120 degrees Celsius 248 degrees Fahrenheit, dimers can be detected. Dimers also occur in the liquid phase in dilute solutions in non-hydrogen bonding solvents, and a certain extent in pure acetic acid, but are disrupted by hydrogen bonding solvents. The dissociation enthalpy of the dimer is estimated at 65.0 to 66.0 kJ per mole, and the dissociation entropy at 154 to 157 J mole minus 1 K minus 1. 
Other carboxylic acids engage in similar intermolecular hydrogen bonding interactions. Solvent properties Liquid acetic acid is a hydrophilic, polar, protic solvent, similar to ethanol and water. With a moderate relative static permittivity dielectric constant of 6.2, it dissolves not only polar compounds such as inorganic salts and sugars, but also nonpolar compounds such as oils as well as polar solutes. It is miscible with polar and nonpolar solvents such as water, chloroform, and hexane. With higher alkanes, starting with octane, acetic acid is not completely miscible, and its miscibility declines with longer N-alkanes. The solvent and miscibility properties of acetic acid make it a useful industrial chemical, for example, as a solvent in the production of dimethyl terephthalate. Biochemistry At physiological pHs, acetic acid is usually fully ionized to acetate. The acetyl group, formally derived from acetic acid, is fundamental to all forms of life. When bound to coenzyme A, it is central to the metabolism of carbohydrates and fats. Unlike longer chain carboxylic acids, the fatty acids, acetic acid does not occur in natural triglycerides. However, the artificial triglyceride triacetin, glycerin triacetate, is a common food additive and is found in cosmetics and topical medicines. Acetic acid is produced and excreted by acetic acid bacteria, notably the genus Acetobacter and Clostridium acetobutylicum. These bacteria are found universally in foodstuffs, water, and soil, and acetic acid is produced naturally as fruits and other foods spoil. Acetic acid is also a component of the vaginal lubrication of humans and other primates, where it appears to serve as a mild antibacterial agent. Production Acetic acid is produced industrially both synthetically and by bacterial fermentation. About 75% of acetic acid made for use in the chemical industry is made by the carbonylation of methanol, explained below. The biological route accounts for only about 10% of world production, but it remains important for the production of vinegar because many food purity laws require vinegar used in foods to be of biological origin. Other processes are methyl formate isomerization, conversion of syngas to acetic acid, and gas phase oxidation of ethylene and ethanol. Acetic acid is often a side product of different reactions, i.e. during heterogeneous catalytic acrylic acid synthesis or fermentative lactic acid production. As of 2003 to 2005, total worldwide production of virgin acetic acid was estimated at 5 mt, a million tons per year, approximately half of which was produced in the United States. European production was approximately 1 mt, a and declining, while Japanese production was 0.7 mt, a. Another 1.5 mt were recycled each year, bringing the total world market to 6.5 mt, a. Since then the global production has increased to 10.7 mt, a, in 2010, and further, however, a slowing in this increase in production is predicted. The two biggest producers of virgin acetic acid are Selenese and BP chemicals. Other major producers include Millennium Chemicals, Sterling Chemicals, Samsung, Eastman, and Svensk Etanolchemy. Methanol carbonylation Most acetic acid is produced by methanol carbonylation. In this process, methanol and carbon monoxide react to produce acetic acid according to the equation. The process involves iodomethane as an intermediate, and occurs in three steps. A catalyst, metal carbonyl, is needed for the carbonylation, step 2. CH3OH plus high CH3I plus H2O CH3I plus COCH3COI CH3COI plus H2O CH3COOH plus HITWO related processes for the carbonylation of methanol, the rhodium catalyzed Monsanto process, and the iridium catalyzed Cativa process. The latter process is greener and more efficient and has largely supplanted the former process, often in the same production plants. Catalytic amounts of water are used in both processes, but the cativa process requires less, so the water-gas shift reaction is suppressed, and fewer by-products are formed. 
By altering the process conditions, acetic anhydride may also be produced on the same plant using the rhodium catalysts. Acetaldehyde oxidation Prior to the commercialization of the Monsanto process, most acetic acid was produced by oxidation of acetaldehyde. This remains the second most important manufacturing method, although it is usually not competitive with the carbonylation of methanol. The acetaldehyde can be produced by hydration of acetylene. This was the dominant technology in the early 1900s. Light naphtha components are readily oxidized by oxygen or even air to give peroxides, which decompose to produce acetic acid according to the chemical equation, illustrated with butane 2C4H1O plus 5O24CH3CO2H plus 2H2. Osic oxidations require metal catalyst, such as the naphthenate salts of manganese, cobalt, and chromium. The typical reaction is conducted at temperatures and pressures designed to be as hot as possible while still keeping the butane a liquid. Typical reaction conditions are 150 degrees Celsius 302 degrees Fahrenheit and 55 atmospheres. Side products may also form, including butanone, ethyl acetate, formic acid, and propionic acid. These side products are also commercially valuable, and the reaction conditions may be altered to produce more of them where needed. However, the separation of acetic acid from these by-products adds to the cost of the process. Under similar conditions and using similar catalysts as are used for butane oxidation, the oxygen in air to produce acetic acid can oxidize acetaldehyde. 2CH3CHO plus O2 2CH3CO2 Using modern catalysts, this reaction can have an acetic acid yield greater than 95%. The major side products are ethyl acetate, formic acid, and formaldehyde, all of which have lower boiling points than acetic acid and are readily separated by distillation. Ethylene oxidation Acetaldehyde may be prepared from ethylene via the Wacker process, and then oxidized as above. In more recent times, chemical company Showa Denko, which opened an ethylene oxidation plant in Oita, Japan, in 1997, commercialized a cheaper single-stage conversion of ethylene to acetic acid. The process is catalyzed by a palladium metal catalyst supported on a heteropoly acid such as silicotungstic acid. Similar process use the same metal catalyst on silicotungstic acid and silica, C2H4 plus O2CH3CO2 HIT is thought to be competitive with methanol carbonylation for smaller plants 100 to 250 knots, of, depending on the local price of ethylene. The approach will be based on utilizing a novel selective photocatalytic oxidation technology for the selective oxidation of ethylene and ethane to acetic acid. Unlike traditional oxidation catalysts, the selective oxidation process will use UV light to produce acetic acid at ambient temperatures and pressure. Oxidative fermentation For most of human history, acetic acid bacteria of the genus Acetobacter have made acetic acid, in the form of vinegar. Given sufficient oxygen, these bacteria can produce vinegar from a variety of alcoholic foodstuffs. Commonly used feeds include apple cider, wine, and fermented grain, malt, rice, or potato mashes. The overall chemical reaction facilitated by these bacteria is C2H5OH plus O2CH3COOH plus H2OA dilute alcohol solution inoculated with acetobacter and kept in a warm, airy place will become vinegar over the course of a few months. Industrial vinegar making methods accelerate this process by improving the supply of oxygen to the bacteria. The first batches of vinegar produced by fermentation probably followed errors in the winemaking process. If must is fermented at too high a temperature, acetobacter will overwhelm the yeast naturally occurring on the grapes. As the demand for vinegar for culinary, medical, and sanitary purposes increased, vintners quickly learned to use other organic materials to produce vinegar in the hot summer months before the grapes were ripe and ready for processing into wine. This method was slow, however, and not always successful, as the vintners did not understand the process. One of the first modern commercial processes was the fast method, or German method, first practiced in Germany in 1823. 
In this process, fermentation takes place in a tower packed with wood shavings or charcoal. The alcohol containing feed is trickled into the top of the tower, and fresh air supplied from the bottom by either natural or forced convection. The improved air supply in this process cut the time to prepare vinegar from months to weeks. Nowadays, most vinegar is made in submerged tank culture, first described in 1949 by Otto Romatka and Heinrich Ebner. In this method, alcohol is fermented to vinegar in a continuously stirred tank, and oxygen is supplied by bubbling air through the solution. Using modern applications of this method, vinegar of 15% acetic acid can be prepared in only 24 hours in batch process, even 20% in 60-hour fed batch process. Anaerobic fermentation Species of anaerobic bacteria, including members of the genus Clostridium or Acetobacterium can convert sugars to acetic acid directly without creating ethanol as an intermediate. The overall chemical reaction conducted by these bacteria may be represented as C6H12063CH3 Cu These acetogenic bacteria produce acetic acid from one carbon compounds, including methanol, carbon monoxide, or a mixture of carbon dioxide and hydrogen. 2CO2 plus 4H2CH3COOH plus 2H2O This ability of clostridium to metabolize sugars directly, or to produce acetic acid from less costly inputs, suggests that these bacteria could produce acetic acid more efficiently than ethanol oxidizers like acetobacter. However, clostridium bacteria are less acid tolerant than acetobacter. Even the most acid-tolerant clostridium strains can produce vinegar in concentrations of only a few percent, compared to acetobacter strains that can produce vinegar in concentrations up to 20%. At present, it remains more cost-effective to produce vinegar using acetobacter, rather than using clostridium and concentrating it. As a result, although acetogenic bacteria have been known since 1940, their industrial use is confined to a few niche applications. Uses Acetic acid is a chemical reagent for the production of chemical compounds. The largest single use of acetic acid is in the production of vinyl acetate monomer, closely followed by acetic anhydride and ester production. The volume of acetic acid used in vinegar is comparatively small. Vinyl acetate monomer the primary use of acetic acid is the production of vinyl acetate monomer VAM. In 2008, this application was estimated to consume a third of the world's production of acetic acid. The reaction consists of ethylene and acetic acid with oxygen over a palladium catalyst, conducted in the gas phase. 2H3C-COOH plus 2C2H4 plus O2-2H3C-CO-O-CH equals CH2 plus 2H2O. Vinyl acetate can be polymerized to polyvinyl acetate or other polymers, which are components in paints and adhesives. Ester production The major esters of acetic acid are commonly used as solvents for inks, paints and coatings. The esters include ethyl acetate, n-butyl acetate, isobutyl acetate, and propyl acetate. They are typically produced by catalyzed reaction from acetic acid and the corresponding alcohol H3C-COOH plus HO-RH3C-CO-O-R plus H2O, R equals a general alkyl group. Most acetate esters, however, are produced from acetaldehyde using the Tyshchenko reaction. In addition, ether acetates are used as solvents for nitrocellulose, acrylic lacquers, varnish removers, and wood stains. First, glycol monoethers are produced from ethylene oxide or propylene oxide with alcohol, which are then esterified with acetic acid. The three major products are ethylene glycol monoethyl ether acetate EEA, ethylene glycol monobutyl ether acetate EBA, and propylene glycol monomethyl ether acetate PMA, more commonly known as PGMEA in semiconductor manufacturing processes, where it is used as a resist solvent. This application consumes about 15% to 20% of worldwide acetic acid. Ether acetates, for example EEA, have been shown to be harmful to human reproduction. Acetic anhydride 
The product of the condensation of two molecules of acetic acid is acetic anhydride. The worldwide production of acetic anhydride is a major application, and uses approximately 25% to 30% of the global production of acetic acid. The main process involves dehydration of acetic acid to give ketene at 700 to 750 degrees Celsius. Ketene is thereafter reacted with acetic acid to obtain the anhydride CH3CO2HCH2 equals C equals O plus H2O CH3CO2H plus CH2 equals C equals O. CH3CO 2O acetic anhydride is an acetylation agent. As such, its major application is for cellulose acetate, a synthetic textile also used for photographic film. Acetic anhydride is also a reagent for the production of heroin and other compounds. Use as solvent. Glacial acetic acid is an excellent polar protic solvent, as noted above. It is frequently used as a solvent for recrystallization to purify organic compounds. Acetic acid is used as a solvent in the production of terephthalic acid TPA, the raw material for polyethylene terephthalate PET. In 2006, about 20% of acetic acid was used for TPA production. Acetic acid is often used as a solvent for reactions involving carbocations, such as friedel crafts alkylation. For example, one stage in the commercial manufacture of synthetic camphor involves a wagner mirwine rearrangement of camphene to isobornal acetate. Here acetic acid acts both as a solvent and as a nucleophile to trap the rearranged carbocation. Glacial acetic acid is used in analytical chemistry for the estimation of weakly alkaline substances such as organic amides. Glacial acetic acid is a much weaker base than water, so the amide behaves as a strong base in this medium. It then can be titrated using a solution in glacial acetic acid of a very strong acid, such as perchloric acid. Medical use Acetic acid injection into the tumor has been used to treat cancer since the 1800s. Acetic acid is used as part of cervical cancer screening in many areas in the developing world. Acetic acid is applied to the cervix and if an area of white appears after about a minute the test is positive. It is an effective antiseptic when used as a 1% solution, with broad spectrum of activity against streptococci, staphylococci, pseudomonas, enterococci and others. It may be an option for skin infections caused by pseudomonas resistant to typical antibiotics. While diluted acetic acid is used in iontophoresis, no high quality evidence supports this treatment in rotator cuff disease. As a treatment for otitis externa, it is on the World Health Organization's list of essential medicines, the most important medications needed in a basic health system. Foods Acetic acid has 349 kilocalories per 100 grams. Vinegar is typically no less than 4% acetic acid by mass. Legal limits on acetic acid content vary by jurisdiction. Vinegar is used directly as a condiment, and in the pickling of vegetables and other foods. Table vinegar tends to be more diluted, 4% to 8% acetic acid, while commercial food pickling employs solutions that are more concentrated. The proportion of acetic acid used worldwide as vinegar is not as large as commercial uses, but is by far the oldest and best known application. Reactions Organic chemistry Acetic acid undergoes the typical chemical reactions of a carboxylic acid. Upon treatment with a standard base, it converts to metal acetate and water. With strong bases, e.g., organolithium reagents, it can be doubly deprotonated to give lich 2 co 2 li Reduction of acetic acid gives ethanol. The O group is the main site of reaction, as illustrated by the conversion of acetic acid to acetyl chloride. Other substitution derivatives include acetic anhydride. This anhydride is produced by loss of water from two molecules of acetic acid. Esters of acetic acid can likewise be formed via Fischer esterification, and amides can be formed. When heated above 440 degrees Celsius 824 degrees Fahrenheit, acetic acid decomposes to produce carbon dioxide and methane, or to produce ketene and water. CH3COOHCH4 plus CO2 
CH3COOHCH2CO plus H2O. Reactions with inorganic compounds Acetic acid is mildly corrosive to metals including iron, magnesium, and zinc, forming hydrogen gas and salts called acetates. Mg plus 2CH3COOH, CH3COO, 2 Mg plus H2 because aluminium forms a passivating acid resistant film of aluminium oxide. Aluminium tanks are used to transport acetic acid. Metal acetates can also be prepared from acetic acid and an appropriate base, as in the popular baking soda plus vinegar reaction. Sodium hydrogen carbonate plus CH3COOHCH3 Kuna plus CO2 plus H2O A color reaction for salts of acetic acid is iron 3 chloride solution, which results in a deeply red color that disappears after acidification. A more sensitive test uses lanthanum nitrate with iodine and ammonia to give a blue solution. Acetates when heated with arsenic trioxide form cacodyl oxide, which can be detected by its malodorous vapors. Other derivatives Organic or inorganic salts are produced from acetic acid. Some commercially significant derivatives Sodium acetate, used in the textile industry and as a food preservative e Copper 2 acetate, used as a pigment and a fungicide. Aluminium acetate and iron 2 acetate used as mordants for dyes. Palladium 2 acetate, used as a catalyst for organic coupling reactions such as the Heck reaction. Halogenated acetic acids are produced from acetic acid. Some commercially significant derivatives Chloroacetic acid, monochloroacetic acid, MCA, dichloroacetic acid, considered a byproduct, and trichloroacetic acid. MCA is used in the manufacture of indigo dye. Bromoacetic acid, which is esterified to produce the reagent ethyl bromoacetate. Trifluoroacetic acid, which is a common reagent in organic synthesis. Amounts of acetic acid used in these other applications together account for another 5 to 10% of acetic acid use worldwide. History Vinegar was known early in civilization as the natural result of exposure of beer and wine to air, because acetic acid producing bacteria are present globally. The use of acetic acid in alchemy extends into the 3rd century BC, when the Greek philosopher Theophrastus described how vinegar acted on metals to produce pigments useful in art, including white lead, lead carbonate, and verdigris, a green mixture of copper salts including copper too, acetate. Ancient Romans boiled soured wine to produce a highly sweet syrup called sapa. Sapa that was produced in lead pots was rich in lead acetate, a sweet substance also called sugar of lead or sugar of Saturn, which contributed to lead poisoning among the Roman aristocracy. In the 16th century German alchemist Andreas Libavius described the production of acetone from the dry distillation of lead acetate, catonic decarboxylation. The presence of water in vinegar has such a profound effect on acetic acid's properties that for centuries chemists believed that glacial acetic acid and the acid found in vinegar were two different substances. French chemist Pierre Adet proved them identical. In 1845 German chemist Hermann Kolbe synthesized acetic acid from inorganic compounds for the first time. This reaction sequence consisted of chlorination of carbon disulfide to carbon tetrachloride, followed by pyrolysis to tetrachloroethylene and aqueous chlorination to trichloroacetic acid, and concluded with electrolytic reduction to acetic acid. By 1910, most glacial acetic acid was obtained from the pyroligneous liquor, a product of the distillation of wood. The acetic acid was isolated by treatment with milk of lime, and the resulting calcium acetate was then acidified with sulfuric acid to recover acetic acid. At that time, Germany was producing 10,000 tons of glacial acetic acid, around 30% of which was used for the manufacture of indigo dye. Because both methanol and carbon monoxide are commodity raw materials, methanol carbonylation long appeared to be attractive precursors to acetic acid. Henri Dreyfus at British Selenese developed a methanol carbonylation pilot plant as early as 1925. 
However, a lack of practical materials that could contain the corrosive reaction mixture at the high pressures needed 200 atmospheres or more, discouraged commercialization of these routes. The first commercial methanol carbonylation process, which used a cobalt catalyst, was developed by German chemical company BASF in 1963. In 1968, a rhodium-based catalyst Cis -RH -CO was discovered that could operate efficiently at lower pressure with almost no byproducts. U.S. chemical company Monsanto Company built the first plant using this catalyst in 1970, and rhodium-catalyzed methanol carbonylation became the dominant method of acetic acid production see Monsanto process. In the late 1990s, the chemicals company BP Chemicals commercialized the Cativa Catalyst IRCO2I2- which is promoted by iridium for greater efficiency. This iridium catalyzed Cativa process is greener and more efficient and has largely supplanted the Monsanto process often in the same production plants. Interstellar medium Interstellar acetic acid was discovered in 1996 by a team led by David Maringer using the former Berkeley, Illinois Maryland Association Array at the Hat Creek Radio Observatory and the former Millimeter Array located at the Owens Valley Radio Observatory. It was first detected in the Sagittarius B2 North Molecular Cloud, also known as the SGR B2 Large Molecule HIMAT source. Acetic acid has the distinction of being the first molecule discovered in the interstellar medium using solely radio interferometers. In all previous ISM molecular discoveries made in the millimeter and centimeter wavelength regimes, single dish radio telescopes were at least partly responsible for the detections. Health effects and safety Concentrated acetic acid is corrosive to skin. These burns or blisters may not appear until hours after exposure. Prolonged inhalation exposure 8 hours to acetic acid vapors at 10 ppm can produce some irritation of eyes, nose, and throat. At 100 ppm marked lung irritation and possible damage to lungs, eyes, and skin may result. Vapor concentrations of 1000 ppm cause marked irritation of eyes, nose and upper respiratory tract and cannot be tolerated. These predictions were based on animal experiments and industrial exposure. In 12 workers exposed for two or more years to acetic acid airborne average concentration of 51 ppm estimated, produced symptoms of conjunctive irritation, upper respiratory tract irritation, and hyperkeratotic dermatitis. Exposure to 50 ppm or more is intolerable to most persons and results in intensive lacrimation and irritation of the eyes, nose, and throat, with pharyngeal edema and chronic bronchitis. Unacclimatized humans experience extreme eye and nasal irritation at concentrations in excess of 25 ppm, and conjunctivitis from concentrations below 10 ppm has been reported. In a study of five workers exposed for 7 to 12 years to concentrations of 80 to 200 ppm at peaks, the principal findings were blackening and hyperkeratosis of the skin of the hands, conjunctivitis but no corneal damage, bronchitis and pharyngitis, and erosion of the exposed teeth. Incisors and canines, the hazards of solutions of acetic acid depend on the concentration. The following table lists the EU classification of acetic acid solutions. Concentrated acetic acid can be ignited only with difficulty at standard temperature and pressure, but becomes a flammable risk in temperatures greater than 39 degrees Celsius 102 degrees Fahrenheit, and can form explosive mixtures with air at higher temperatures explosive limits, 5.4 to 16%. See also Acetic acid, data page Acetyl group, the CH3CO group Acids in wine References External links International Chemical Safety Card 0363 National Pollutant Inventory, Acetic Acid Fact Sheet NIOSH Pocket Guide to Chemical Hazards Method for sampling and analysis 
29 CFR 1910.1000, Table Z1, U.S. Permissible Exposure Limits Chemsub Online, Acetic Acid Calculation of vapor pressure, liquid density, dynamic liquid viscosity, surface tension of acetic acid Acetic acid bound to proteins in the PDB Swedish Chemicals Agency. Information sheet, acetic acid Process flow sheet of acetic acid production by the carbonylation of methanol.